Hi, my name's Drew, and today we're gonna do a what's in my bag video, except instead of a bag, we're gonna do a crate. So I'm a cinematographer in Chicago, and I work primarily in the narrative indie space. And because the projects are a little bit smaller, uh, this is not just exclusive to camera stuff. A lot of the departments tend to help each other out. So here we go. First off, we have this tape roll that uh, is held together with a safety chain. Different people use different, uh, they're like dedicated straps. So first up is console tape. These are used for marking cameras. Generally, A camera's red, B camera's blue, C camera's yellow. So next time I buy tape, um, I'm due for some blue. This is some uh, white artist tape and white gaff tape. Photo black, which is a paper tape, gaff that's almost finished. There's also uh, four different colors of spike tape. This is like gaff tape. I also keep a bunch of carabiners. These are super helpful. Like I use the Polar Pro map box. So the ND filters, I'll generally clip them onto this and then clip this onto the tripod if we're uh, going off location or really just anytime you're going away from where you've staged all your gear, your base camp. It helps to have these to just wrangle stuff together and um, keep them on you. I also have some uh, zeros they call them. These are like the fancy new age C47s. The old school filmmakers use the wooden clothespins, um, but then these have been gaining more popularity. They call them zeros. They're three quarter inch spring clamps. So just quick side note, I also carry on my person uh, a Leatherman. It's a Leatherman Wave. This is an Olight, forget the exact model, uh, but a little Olight flashlight and a little baby Sharpie inside of the multi-tool. Then I also keep a flashlight, a stronger one. This is also Olight. It's the Seeker 3 Pro. It's uh, very bright and also a laser pointer. So this is super helpful when you're working with other people and you have to uh, communicate. It's much easier to point with this than just with, uh, with your fingers. Then I also carry gloves, usually in my back pocket. But the reason why this came to mind is I normally like to keep two bongo ties on my wrist and I'll clip two zeros to my sleeve or something else. And that's typically kind of my work uniform. And here, last thing on the tape roll are some, uh, I believe these are three inch, three inch spring clamps. And these are super helpful, uh, especially on the, smaller, on the smaller film sets where you're uh, sometimes just using a photography reflector instead of your typical four buys or different floppies and things like that. Whatever it is, you can just clip it to something else and these are super quick, super easy to use. Then I have my little ditty pouch, more tape rolls, more carabiners, safety chain holding those, and I'll normally keep uh, one tape measure on here and there's a lot of redundancy. Uh, some redundancy in terms of tools. This multi-tool doesn't get used a lot. This is a Leatherman Skeletool and a box cutter with an interchangeable blade. Another backup flashlight. A headlamp. I think it's dead. Hand sanitizer. Batteries, lighter. A tiny little thing of super glue. And a bunch of Sharpies. Got two thick ones, two thin ones, a silver one, and a regular one. On the back side of this, I keep a spare set of gloves. Got your Allen wrenches, level, pens, safety chain, microfiber. There's another backup flashlight, T squares, some of these uh, finer screwdrivers. Another safety chain, some ear protection, another pen. Here's some uh, powdered Gatorade. Uh, so that's it for the pouch. I normally don't carry this on my belt anymore. I, I have everything I need on my side or you know, I, I'm usually close enough to this bin that I can access what I need. 
All right, moving on, I normally keep a separate pouch dedicated for tech scouts. So uh, it's something I can just grab really quickly. And it normally includes a lot of electrical and lighting stuff. So I'll keep a, another uh, tape measure and a voltage detector and outlet tester. So these are very helpful for determining, you know, what outlets are good and um, also troubleshooting while you're on set. And here's my light meter. It's a super duper cheap one from Amazon uh, that has broken, but it still works. 143 lux about still working good enough for how we use it. I normally wind up using false color just cause it's a little bit quicker in the, um, in the indie scene, but I do use this during tech scouts to uh, just to measure light, uh, ambient light. And then uh, spare batteries. I also keep a can of WD-40, which has come in clutch a few times. Bug spray and sunscreen. First aid kit. Has your typical stuff in it, but then I've also found it's nice to have uh, a little micro multi-tool just in case if you need you know pliers or certain things it's always helpful to have this type of thing uh some body spray and gum and i have this little bag of like five hour energy there's a little bit of baby powder another st uh, stick of deodorant and i think these are some wet wipes tums things like that here's another random set of zeros and bongo ties just uh, floating around Here's a leftover bag. Uh, I think it's a camera bag or it might be a poncho. Normally I have a caput ready, but um, just anything to help protect camera and gear if it starts raining suddenly. And also a backup uh, walkie headset. So I actually also carry, um, not on my person, but in my backpack. I normally carry this. It's just a Motorola earpiece. I chose green because uh, a lot of the ones are black that um, come with production and different things, but that with the surveillance earpiece, the one that's open so you can hear the walkie and your surroundings at the same time. And this one looks a little bit filthy. And I'll also normally keep a spare headset. Uh, these are the Motorola kinds. And there's two main ones. Uh, I believe they're Mid Midland and Motorola, but you'll just wanna make sure you get the right one for the, the production that you're on. Here's another headset. So I normally keep a spare for myself and then a spare in case somebody needs one. So this is that second one. Some extra gloves somehow uh, started living in the crate. I also like to keep these type of bags where um, I think these are sh traveling shoe bags, but these are really nice for if you have you know a bunch of dead batteries or just random little things that you need to keep together. It's nice to have uh, a bag like this. And some more earplugs. These are, I think, really important to, to protect your hearing. I was on a project recently where there was this fake gun on top of a, a, a Hummer and, uh, and it got really loud. So really important to have these. Uh, a couple of these, I forgot what they're called exactly. Are these bungee tie downs, something like that. Um, it's just when you're moving stuff on your cart, uh, it's helpful to strap things down. I forgot I had these, but here's some some more powdered Gatorade, and here is a caput. So a caput's kind of like a, it's kind of like a shower, it looks like a shower cap, where there's an elastic part um, that helps kind of put the plastic bag over whatever it is, and then kind of cinch it down with the elastic. Here is an air pump. Um, this works with the other, uh, the drills that I have in here. And I keep this mainly for my car, but now I'm just realizing on this last project I had, we needed one of these and I, I just, I didn't remember it was in my crate. Charger for the power tools and just some trash bags. Some leftover command strips and different things for art department. I don't think I've ever used these for camera stuff. Um, yeah, it's just pretty much for art department. Here is a pouch that's dedicated for charging stuff. So it's just, all your USB cables, lightning, USB-A to USB-C, micro USB, a uh, little charging brick, and there should be a small little power bank in here too. Yeah, and that small little power bank. On to the power tools. I have uh, drill bits and drivers, and a different set of driver bits with some sockets and different things. And then I'll normally keep two drills. Uh, one is actually a driver, an impact driver, and all of these are Ryobi, so they share the same ecosystem. Also a little baby hammer, some eye protection, doorstop, more driver bits, and 
some fasteners. I also keep slates on this end. So just your typical, you know. This is a Sideo crate and I believe it was about $95 shipped to Chicago. And the nice thing about this is they have these dividers so you can create the different slots for things like uh, having the slates here and then when I have the drills here, I don't have to worry about things constantly kind of falling into the center and then not fitting back in place. I'm most likely gonna update it to a bag eventually, but uh, for now, it remains a crate. So that's it for what's in my bag or what's in my crate. Hopefully you found it helpful. I'll leave links in the description. Uh, they're not affiliate links. I don't have much YouTube clout, so um, just there to help. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time.